I'm not. I'm practically like rushing some projects. I need to finish some painting before Christmas and before the year ends. Basically, I need to finish like four articles, a couple for a book, and two different magazines. So I just started painting this Creature Caster miniature for my Fine Scale Modeler magazine article. It's been seven days, I think, when I last painted the miniature because of the Japan trip. I was just starting to like really get into the groove of painting because <laughs> it's been a while and I was enjoying painting with my speed paint as usual when a package arrived. I'm done. Welcome to our studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. And of course, this channel won't be possible without the support of my patrons. So before I had to do the unboxing, I had to make space. So who wants old citadels, Vallejos, and of course, AK Paints? <laughs> Just kidding. The package is very, very heavy. It's super heavy and it's super beautiful. Like after opening the box, I was like, this packaging is super nice. It's not really my first time to get like a really big package of paints, but this is like the first package that is in one set. Like in one box, you have everything you need, all of the colors. I'm not really sure if you could hear it in my voice, but I'm really, really excited to use these paints. I have been waiting for these paints for a while now. To be honest, I did not know I'll be receiving this package this early, like before Christmas. This is super awesome and I did not ask for the complete set, but Adam gave it to me. So super thank you to Army Painter and of course, Adam. I love the Army Painter stickers, of course, dip it and I have to find like an item so that I could place dip it. It's my first time to get these white handles, army painter with white handles. I think the triangular, the, the brushes with triangular handles are sable brushes. I'm not really sure, but as usual, I'm kind of excited to try them out. And of course, this should like work mighty fine, much like the synthetic brushes that comes with the other sets. I'm also super happy that it comes with this dry brush masterclass. Like I have this set already and it works mighty fine. Much like other sets, you get the how to paint and of course the catalog from Army Painter, which is always fun to read and look at. And also other than this catalog, like they have this card, which kind of tells you that you could ask for replacement if it's damaged or you're missing a paint. I don't think I have to say this, but Army Painter customer service is second to none. Now let's bash Army Painter. <laughs> like when I got the complete set of the speed paints, it was all over the place. Like the bottles, the paints were all over the box, inside the box. This one, it was like they're, they're organized in like four sections and the paints are steady or they're not really, they're not scattered inside the box. Basically, the cartons that held like the paints in four sets and are placed inside the box are fitting, like they fit so nicely, they're very tight and you'll receive your sets in very, very good condition. Now let's talk about the triad system. There are six colors within a single triad and it looks it looks pretty good. I saw the video at Army Painter about the flexible triad system and I was actually kind of curious why it's a triad of six colors. For me, like triads kind of work best if it's an odd number because the middle color will be your base color. So having a triad system that has six colors or even number 
is kind of weird because you cannot like define your middle base color. But this makes this Warpaint's Fanatic Triad more flexible. Basically, the most important parts of a triad, that's why it's called triad originally, is the darker, like the darkest color. And of course, the middle color, the base color, and the lightest color. That's why it's kind of like normal if you have them in odd numbers. Now, since Army Painter like hmm, designed it to be six color triad, I think that really made it more versatile or like more flexible as they say. Since this is a three, no, not three, a six color triad, practically you have hmm, like three color triads. Like you could organize it or use one, two, three, three, four, and five, or four, five, and six. So it's very versatile. It's very flexible. Or you could use the whole triad of six colors, but you have two base color options. Now you can choose like the middle colors as your base colors. You could use number three as your base color, which is lighter, a little lighter. Or you could use number four, which is a little darker or a bit like the color is more solid. So you have two choices of base colors which again will make this triad system very flexible. Or you could simply use two base colors when painting a part of a miniature. For example, let me explain. You're painting a green skin. You could use number three and number four in the same triad system and kind of combine them as you paint or even wet blend them as you paint the skin. So basically you have more color depth instantly with just the base color and then of course the shade or darker colors you could glaze down or like paint via sketchy manner and of course the highlights so this will produce very good results for sure and i will have a ton of videos experimenting with this triad system basically i'm just judging based on the bottles that i'm using i haven't used the paints yet but the bottles feels different by the way they feel like more hmm, less soft than the speed paint bottles but anyways basically you have lots of colors so do you really need these colors like a six triad system when you're painting miniatures well basically you don't need all these colors but trust me you will want all these colors now layering within the same triad system will be stupid <laughs> like stupid easy now this is again much like speed paints the complete set this is a problem like how could i make hard to follow tutorials so that people will like subscribe to my patreon <laughs> like i said you don't really need this much colors but this will make your color depth your painting your layering and even your glazing so much easier as a professional painter for me having lots of colors having all these colors will make my painting a lot more efficient now the great thing about the triad system this six color triad system for me is that if you look at the video the colors are not really near each other like they are like very identifiable like there's a certain jump between each color which makes it like very good because there's not much redundancy in the color system so i used to just paint with a certain brand way way back and that brand has a ton of browns and ochres and tans to the point that the paints the colors seem to like uh, some colors seem to be redundant and not really like it's hmm how do you explain it it's like some colors seem to be very similar to each other and it's not really efficient to use them especially using them within the same miniature so my first impression with the triad is that even though you have tons of paints it seems that all of the colors are very unique to each other like there's not much redundancy and painting with this should be super super fun i must admit though 
that because of the very well planned or well designed triad, it's kind of like I, I feel kind of scared to like paint within or outside of the triad. Let me explain. For example, you're painting with cool reds like you see in the video. And then I want to introduce some purples at the like darker spectrum of the triad. It will be kind of like tricky at first because you're introducing a triad, a color from a different triad. But I'm pretty sure it will work out super fine. So I'm thinking my first few videos will be painting within the same triad system so that people will find it easier to follow. However, I'm pretty sure that my succeeding videos will be playing around with all these colors, like almost totally ignoring the preset triad system. I must say though that after unboxing all these colors, like Army Painter designed this triad system, all these colors really well, much like how they designed the complete set of the Speed Paints 2.0. It seems that once you have the complete set of this War Paints Fanatic and you have the complete set of the Speed Paints, it, it's like your life is complete. <laughs> Seriously though, like the color selection, the vibrancy of the colors, and of course the triad system kind of makes it like it, it feels that the War Paints Fanatic is more than enough to accomplish really really nice projects kudos to like army painter for constantly innovating their products and it should be super fun to paint with these colors now the red caps or the washes i only have a couple of like washes from army painter which was from a zombie side set now i have the full set now the bottles with red caps are the washes i'm really excited to use this because i only have a couple of washes from army painter which came from a zombie side set with this one i have more than enough i think this could be the complete set of washes too but if it's not, I'll be overwhelmed because there are like they have so many washes that would make my painting have so much color depth. Although Adam told me that the War Paints Fanatic, like the standard colors, kind of glazes really well. I mean, the coverage are supposedly very, very good. But then again, once you thin it down, they glaze really well. So, I really want to try that before I use these washes. The green caps. The green caps are the auxiliaries and the effects paints. I'm kinda like, not kinda, I'm very excited to try out the green effects paints. Now, the green caps are the auxiliaries and the effects paints. Now, I have all these auxiliaries which make sense except Except the stabilizer. What the hell is that? Anyways, I'll ask Adam and hope to figure it out very soon. Now, the green caps also has a set of floral paints. I'm not, I don't really use this as often, but I hope or I think this should be good too. And we'll try it out in my other projects. Also, a huge amount of effects paints are here. I'm pretty sure I'll use the blood effects so much. And of course, the rust effects. There is also a verdigris effects paint. I haven't used a good one yet. Hopefully, this one is good. Now the metallics. The metallics, like the collection of metallics seems so nice. I'm, I'm really eager to try them out. The metallics. The metallics has a very good collection. I have an older like set of the metallics and they seem very nice and they say that this is even nicer. Also, I really enjoy the Speed Paints Metallics, the Speed Paint Metallics 2.0. Those are super nice. Those are, hmm, those are actually magic for me. It's weird to paint metallics over white primer, 
but this should complement that paints those paints and hopefully i will produce better metallic better not nmm better tmm painting very soon i think i'll still use my speed paints metallics those are really good They're, those flow super nice all over the model and then i'll be using this metallic paints to layer on top of those so that i have like more texturing and be better highlighting and will produce a more complex tmm now i'm also excited to use this sable i think this are sable brushes and i need to resume my painting because i have deadlines so a huge thanks to Adam. I haven't told him that I have the paints already. And of course, to Army Painter for this complete set. This, I am mean, basically set for, for life. <laughs> because I have the complete set of this Fanatics. That's it, Pansit. I hope you like this video. Until next video, guys. Cheers!